It's time for prayer. If you want a situation change and move, you need to learn how to pray. It will change you and change situations. Tell somebody, don't get me praying about this. Tell somebody else, don't stop me praying about this. If I start praying, something's going to happen. Heaven and earth going to shake if I start praying. I'll start walking on waters if I start. God, I'm coming to the temple and start turning over the chains. Throwing people out. Don't let me stop. If I start praying, God will take two fish and five body loaves and feed 5,000. If you start. Let you know you'll be walking on water. Tell somebody, don't stop me praying. You can mess with me all you want, but don't stop me. Don't stop me praying. The prayers of the righteous. Availing. How many of y'all believe that? You ain't got to fight natural battles. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. But the devil is after your daughter. He's after your son. And you got to learn to go after them. Did you hear what I said? See, I'm Just because they seem like they're doing what they want to do. And you have lost sight of them. Mothers, because of that innate bond, there's something that makes you go after your kids. Even when the daddy's walking the other way, something that makes you go after them. Your children, your child may be out there now, but you got a responsibility to go up. Keep on looking, Michelle. Keep on looking. They, you need to know that somebody's coming, somebody's looking for you, somebody wants you, that you'll be missed. It'll do something for you. It'll give you a desire to get out the house. And even though the baby was followed by somebody you didn't really love, but as you're getting out, you're going to remember that you left a piece of you back in the house. And, and, and Charles Ramsey said she went back and grabbed the baby and pulled the baby out. If I'm coming out, you got to come. You got to come out too. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him. Let's give a hand clap for the mothers who have been in bondage for 10 years. But yet they hung in there. Give them a clap right now. I wondered all week long about this situation. Leading up to Mother's Day. And you know what occurred to me that they're doing the 10 years. They never lost hope. They always looked in front of them. About what was going to happen. And they knew that when they got a chance. Listen, listen, they were released to some degree at times physically because he had left the house. But you can be released physically, but in your mind, 